Hey guys, John here. So the biggest question I always get when I do these courses is where can I get access to the source code? So I obviously can't upload that here on YouTube. So I've made that available for you over on BitTorrent. And along with the source code, you'll also be able to actually download the videos uh, to your computer so you can have them forever. So if for some reason something crazy happened and I decided to delete them or YouTube kicked me off of their site or whatever, it wouldn't really matter for you because you would have all the source code, you'd have all the videos, all everything essentially that I've created for the course you would have on your own computer. So I've created a link in the description where you can find that stuff over on BitTorrent. Please consider going over there, supporting me that way. I'd appreciate that. Also, please consider uh, making a donation here on YouTube using the fan funding. This is how or one of the ways that I'm able to keep all of the videos that I'm doing and releasing here on YouTube for free by those who are able to pitching in and allowing me to do that. So please consider that. And if you need access to any of the resources that I use through everything that I do online, coding, releasing videos, etc., you can head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash resources and I have a whole slew of all sorts of different resources from hosting to different uh, tutorials and just everything over there that I use. So uh, again, johnmorrisonline.com slash resources. All right, on to the lesson. Hey, John Morris here. And in this video, we're going to talk about specifically about how to connect to your database. And as I work through these examples of the different things that you need to do in order to work with uh, your database, I'm going to be using both uh, the MySQLi and PDO. So if you're not familiar, uh, My C or PHP actually has three different APIs for connecting to and uh, MySQL database. Uh, it has the original MySQL, which you probably are familiar with which is actually deprecated at this point, um, but it does still work, but uh, definitely don't want to use that one. Uh, but it is there. And then the second one is the MySQL, MySQL I, which is, stands for MySQL Improved, uh, which we've already worked with a little bit so far. And then the last one is PDO, which stands for PHP Data Objects. So you can actually use any one of those three APIs, of course, the the first one is not recommended. The last two, uh, you can really use either one. The difference between the two is that MySQLi is specific to MySQL, whereas uh, PDO is actually uh, database agnostic. So you can use it for different kinds of databases like Oracle databases and you know uh, whatever else may be out there that uh, you might want to use for a database it can actually work with uh, any of those so all you have to do is uh, specify which one you want to use okay so we're going to cover how to do that uh, and in this video we're just going to cover specifically how to connect to your database all right so we'll run through this code here pretty quick um, first off we're setting up Again, the uh, information that we need to connect. So we have our database user, we have our password for that user, we have the name of the database we want to connect to, and we have our host, which is localhost. For my SQLI, what we do is we instantiate a new instance of that object, a new my SQLI object. We pass in our host, our user, our password, and our database name. Okay, and that's going to actually, that's just going to open the connection and allow us to then run queries after that. So you always need to do this before you run any query on your database. Then here for a simple error check, we're simply going to check and see uh, if that connection is there. And if it is, then uh, we can continue running our qu uh, queries. If not, it's going to print this. Uh, statement that says the connection failed and why. Okay, so when we head over here to our screen, when we refresh this, we should actually get a blank page because we're only printing an error if uh, we can't connect. Okay, so we got our blank page. Just to give you an idea of what it would look like if we change the name of our database to a database that doesn't exist. If you're not co connected correctly, then you're going to get some sort of statement like this, okay? 
And basically it says unknown database because obviously that one doesn't exist. All right, so pretty straightforward. That's how to connect using my SQLI. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how to connect using PDO. So it's really pretty similar. Um, you're just gonna instantiate, to start you're gonna instantiate a new instance of the PDO object or the PDO class. Um, we're putting this in a try catch uh, block here so that we can catch errors. It's essentially just a different way of doing um, the, the same thing that we did up here which is to check for an error after we run our instantiation. So again, it's the it's pretty similar to that. So again, we're just instantiating a new PDO object or instance of uh, the PDO object. And here we need to do something just a little bit different because PDO is database agnostic and we can use it with uh, a bunch of different databases. We need to specify which one we actually wanna use, which driver we wanna use. So you notice the first thing that we put in here is this string right here. And this is essentially denoting, we're setting our driver, the host, and the database name in this string. So again, I'm using what we have up, what we've already set up here. So for our driver, we wanna use MySQL, and then the host that we're gonna to connect to is our what we've set up here, in this case, localhost, and then a semicolon, and then the name of the database that we wanna to connect to uh, which again we've set up here and is our test database, right? So we need that string, uh, which is a little bit different with PDO so that it knows what driver to use and then we pass in the host and the database name. And then of course, uh, much like MySQLi, we have our database user and our database password, All right? Here, what we're doing is <clears throat> we're essentially making this so we can see any errors that might come up. Um, by default, PDO will um, essentially suppress uh, any errors, and so um, for you know for production, that's probably a good thing. But for our testing and training here, we want to actually show all of these errors. That doesn't mean that you can't get the errors. Um, you can still look for those errors, but you have to explicitly look for them. Here, we're just setting this attribute. You know, so it's a set attribute to essentially throw the errors as they occur. Uh, so that's what this is for. It's really mainly for, you'd want to use this for debugging or when you're actually writing your code or of course for some sort of training like this so you can see if there is an error. All right, so we're going to try that. Uh, if we get some sort of error back, and then we're just going to echo that error and whatever the message is, okay? So we'll go ahead, and actually let me go ahead and comment that out. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go back over to our page and we're going to refresh this. Again, we should get a blank page. And that, as you can see, is exactly what we get. We get a blank page. So that means that we're connected. Now, again, to see what that would be like if you weren't connected, we're gonna change the name of the database to one that doesn't exist. We'll come back over and we'll refresh this. And you can see that we're getting this error, uh, same error as before, unknown database. Okay, so again, and for your error messages, of course, we're just simply e uh, echoing it out. You could go ahead and create some sort of, you know, fancy display or handle it however you want to. But um, this is just, again, to show you what it would look like. All right, so that is how to connect to your database using both MySQLi and PDO. Of course, in the future videos, we're going to get into how to run queries and do all the different things that you would need to do. Uh, with the database and, and again we'll uh, use both my SQLI and PDO as we do that. Alright so that's how to connect to your database that's my SQLI and PDO. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you later.